A lot of people don't pay a lot of attention to their mounts. You can have the best rifle and the best scope, but if you don't have them linked together properly, you're wasting your time. You're never going to get consistent accuracy. You're never going to get things to work the way you need them to. So, I always recommend you buy good quality mounts and I always use Sports Match. They're English made. I've used them probably nearly 30 years now and they've always been completely reliable. Every time they do something that fits every scope, every rail width. There's always something out there, whether you need a, a one piece to go on a heavy recoiling gun or two piece mounts for, this is a, a PCP so it's recoilless. There's always something out there to suit you, but it's really worth spending just a few pounds more to get something that won't let you down. And I know for a fact these have never let me down. If you've got a recoiling gun, a, a spring piston gun, or especially a gas ram, I'd recommend you use a one piece mount. What you've got is a very, very long clamping surface. And also this pin here, you see, on most recoiling guns, there'll be a drill hole in the top of the action. You line that up and clamp it down, it cannot move. It's just never, ever gonna move. And you'd be amazed at how much force a spring gun can put through the scope and mount combination. If that's moving, your zero is getting lost. You know, you're wasting your time. So if you've got a recoiling gun, definitely get a one piece mount. However, there are some guns out there that will allow you to fit a one-piece mount onto a pre-charged gun. A BSA is a good example of this. Where the magazine goes in on that, there's actually no cutout in the rail. Most pre-charged guns have a cutout where the magazine sits. So you could, in fact, put a one-piece mount on this for belt and braces security. Um, there's a couple of other, I think the Walther Rotec will allow you to do the same, some of the other Walthers. But generally, things like Air Arms and Daystate, you'll find that you're going to need to use two-piece mounts. Thank you.